Discover Ancient Peru with Museo Larco. Wadi. Do you know which was the first empire in the Andes? Throughout history, empires have been characterized by the conquest of vast territories, usually integrating different populations under one political regime. When we think of empires in pre-Hispanic Peru, we think of the Tawandinsuyo or Inca Empire. However, in recent decades, archaeological discoveries have revealed that an even older empire existed in the Andes. From their capital in the heart of today's Ayacucho region, the Wari undertook the conquest of the Andes some 1400 years ago. They crossed the mountains seeking to dominate other populations in order to gain access to labor and various resources. Initially, they maintained strong links with the Nazca populations of the southern coast and with the Tiahuanaco who lived on the shores of Lake Titicaca. At the height of their expansion, the Wari reached as far north as Lambayeque and Cajamarca and as far south as Cusco and Moquegua. To do so, they adopted different strategies from the use of military force to negotiation through rituals or the exchange of gifts. Through their textures, colors, and symbols, garments convey the beliefs and identity of the people. In the regions they controlled, the Wadi built imposing administrative centers with buildings and squares that must have been surprising and even intimidating in their monumentality. On the central coast, the Wadi presence made Pachacamac the most important sanctuary and pilgrimage center in this region. There, one of the most representative figures of the Wadi cult was the winged feline, a creature that could transform itself and display a bird, feline, or human head, but always surrounded by large feathers. On the north coast, the Moche were influenced by the Wadi culture. Although they were not conquered, they integrated shapes, designs, and colors into their pottery and textiles. Ancestral worship was extremely important to the Wadi. For this reason, they built tombs that allowed for easy removal of funerary bundles. Covered with glowing metallic faces, fine ornaments, and attire, the ancestors were carried to plazas or special places where they were honored and offerings of food and drink were given to them. Empires are short-lived, and in the case of the Wadi, this seems to have lasted fewer than 300 years. After their expansion into the Andes, the Wadi left an indelible mark on local cultural developments. This would mark the beginning of a new millennium and the formation of new regional states. <laughs>